Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. Today's episode is going to be a selling side. What sold on eBay? I've got 20 sales for $1,334. That is pretty awesome. An average selling price of $67 on 27 or 20 items. So let's do it. Come along for the ride. So the first couple sales are from bin A9. It's a pretty unique sale right here. This is an original Xbox Microsoft brand component cable. So it's got the green, blue, red. If you ever find original component cables for PS2, Xbox, and especially GameCube, they're worth good money. This one sold for $49.99. I purchased this from Andy, the viewer. Uh, what up, Andy? If you're watching this uh, from the big collection, I think I spent about thousand or eleven hundred. Probably got five, ten bucks into this cable. So this was a great purchase and a great sale. So yeah, component cables. Keep an eye out for those. And then I sold a Gears of War. I don't even know what like bomb kind of thing from the Loot Crate box. This I sold for $14.99 and I was just selling this for Crawdad. So Crawdad, there's one of your loot crate sales. And I pulled down bin A3 to make it easier to grab everything with one hand. Um, we'll start with this Game Shark. I think it's, yeah, it's for GameCube. I don't exactly understand how this works, but. I did not pay much for it, maybe a dollar or two at a garage sale. And that sold for $17.99. So I think you put it in your computer and then somehow you use it from there. I don't know, but it sold. The buyer knows how to use it. <laughs> this sold, um, this was a pretty good sale. This is like a My Little Pony, but it's a variation. So if you find these little mermaid variations, Definitely pick them up because you'll probably find them for cheap. And that sold, I think I sent a 20% off. So you can send offers to buyers now on eBay, which is kind of awesome. I sent a 20% off. If the listing has watchers, you can send that. And it sold for $27.99 for this tiny little thing. I purchased an entire collection of My Little Ponies for $3, and this was in there. So that's pretty amazing. And then one other thing sold from the bin, which is funny because I just talked about component cables and I sold two in the same weekend. The PS2 slash PS3 official component cable, $35.99 plus shipping. So out of a couple of the higher bins, this little Tykes table had 25 cents into it, got it at a garage sale. And I actually just bought it to start a conversation because I could tell they probably had video games. And they did. They had GameCube games. But this sold for $11.19. I must have sent a 20% off offer on that one. And then the Mad Men DVDs. These will ship medium mail. Sold for $19.99 with free shipping. Not a great sale there. It'll probably cost uh, four, 4 bucks to ship them. Um, and I had basically nothing into these because I got them in a collection which I traded in the extras, got the money back in the trade-in, listed a few of the series, and so it's pure profit. So I guess I'll take it. A couple more sales out of A7. I sold this remote for $14.99 plus shipping. It is a Epson projector remote. I just had an extra one laying around. Um, basically, I've been getting to my backlog. <laughs> I've been, I don't know, I've, I've 
got quite a significant eBay def death pile that's added up over the last couple of years. Basically, I list all the easy things or the things that are worth good money, and then I set aside all the other stuff. So that's a problem that I have been fixing lately, and I'm going to really work on creating systems for that not to happen. And then this sold for $19.99, and I only had a buck into it from a garage sale. We've got a couple fun sales right here. So this Nylant truck actually ended up selling on eBay, sending 20% off, and it sold for 40 bucks. So that's a pretty good sale there. Had three dollars into it at a garage sale. This grasshopper, man, I have had this for two years sitting in the garage because I couldn't get it to work, so I just kind of threw it in there. But it's still a really valuable item and had a lot of good parts and pieces. I've got the box for it. I still got to grab. Um, I had 20 bucks into this thing, and it sold for, I can't remember, but I will put the screenshot here, and I profited. <laughs> uh, definitely a lesson to list things quickly, and just, I sold it as is. said, you know, it doesn't work, but if you can get it to work, good for you, and you've got yourself a good deal. And then this is a great sale. This was actually from my collection. I just, I don't have room. I want to add stuff, and I don't need storage cases like this taking up room. Even though it is awesome, I sold it for $100 plus $20 shipping. It's a rare case. Super Nintendo games go inside of it. I think it's 24 is what it holds. Um, and I actually only paid 20 bucks for this at Disc Traders years ago, so... That was an awesome sale. I was definitely happy with that one. I also sold this Italian Charizard base set. Rough shape, but sold it for $23.99. I'm happy with that sale. So here's my schedule. Trying to make my days more efficient. For those that don't know, I'm full-time into this reselling business. And... I'm always trying to improve, so basically the areas that I've been horrible at is listing on eBay. I just get huge piles that just I never get to because I usually do Amazon FBA and get all that stuff taken care of and then don't have time in the week to eBay list. So the first part of my day, 7 to 9, I list on eBay. Two hours. Usually I start off my day with shipping labels, but that's easy and mindless and it's usually hard to get going after doing shipping labels. So I get it started with something a little more difficult. And listing every day on eBay, it it just significantly helps the algorithm and gets your items sold. Then I shipping labels. I have 30 minutes, but on Mondays usually more, uh, like two hours, because weekend sales are usually a lot more. So I'll just adjust the schedule as needed on days like today. Um, but then I give 30 minutes for message response, 9:30 to 10. Uh, cleaning and testing from 10 to 11.30, that's for FBA stuff, systems, controllers, games, cleaning and testing. And then 11.30, I have half an hour for lunch. Come back, update my bookkeeping, just trying to enter in receipts and, and do everything into Google Docs. Um, that's an area of weakness that in my business. I usually wait till the end of the year and just have a miserable week of uh, doing everything all at one time. Um, and then I have another hour 45 for cleaning, listing, and doing Amazon FBA stuff. That usually involves video game systems or whatever. And then flex time. So whatever I really need to do, that often involves more FBA stuff. Um, it often involves filing all the eBay items that I listed that day uh, into their you know bins and everything. 3.15 to 3.30 is cleanup, just any more cleanup or organizing that needs to be done so that my workspace is clean every day when I uh, get to it in the morning. And then 3.30 to 4 is YouTube editing. So that is my day. Um, you know, 7 to 4, 5 days a week. I usually garage sale on Friday, so obviously this doesn't apply to that. But uh, yeah, hopefully this can maybe bring some ideas to your schedule. I'm the type of person that it helps to write things down and to follow a plan and a schedule, so this was a recent thing for me, but 
it's really helped in the few weeks that I've been using it. So out of A9, I sold this Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Monsters. Got this out of the giant nerd storage unit that I purchased. Um, the I purchased it from my storage unit guy. I basically purchased everything because it was a beautiful unit. Uh, so this sold for $40 plus $8 shipping. Probably had a couple bucks into it because it was just thrown into the deal. Everything was cheap and a great... <laughs> I mean, it was insane. If you haven't seen it, look it up. The storage unit video. Chase had the right price storage unit. You'll probably find it that way. That was an amazing, amazing unit. Okay, and we've got one other item out of A6, I believe. Oh, uh, It's one of these manuals. It's a yellow Yamaha probably down here. Let's see if I can grab it with one hand. I'm not even sure if it's this one because there's a few yellow ones. Let's see, I gotta check. It is the TT500C, so it's not this one. But these were a fairly recent purchase from the the big Star Wars sale. Purchased the entire stack of manuals for 20 bucks. And this one sold for $31.99. So I sold one manual, I'm in the profit. I think those manuals are going to be worth $200 altogether. Got them all listed. And that was just an awesome purchase. That garage sale was insane. Check out that um, that video if you haven't seen it called Oops We Did It Again. Got some crazy purchases and I actually have one more thing from it that sold that I will show you guys. Had a couple comments saying that this was the best find of the sale. And you guys were right. The sand crawler. Didn't have the ladder, didn't have anything except for the doors and the actual unit, but this is a very rare item. And it sold for $199.99. Free shipping. But it was marked at 20 bucks in the sale, and I got everything for, I don't know, about half off. So I got about 10, 12 bucks into this thing, sold it for $200. Stoked with that sale. All right, we're gonna come over to B5, which is this shelf over here, the very bottom. I may have to, let's see if I can grab it, but I sold a ColecoVision. I had two of them. They've been sitting around for a while. I purchased it for $40, a whole collection with the games and actually just listed the games, so those will start selling too. But I sold just the system for 150 bucks, and it's in a rough condition box, a horrible condition box. But it's got the styrofoam and everything. 150 bucks, great little sale. I also sold this thing, the Omnicord, in the case. Only had 20 bucks into this thing. I didn't even know what it was, but it has the power cord in the original case, and I sold it for $200. That is an awesome sale. I also sold this iPod. iPods cannot be listed on Amazon anymore, so I had a lot of iPods that I had to get sent back from Amazon and list on eBay. This one took a long time to sell, but it's reset. It works well, and it's 160 gigabytes, seventh generation. Sold it for $149.99. Probably had around 40, 50 bucks into this. So that is a sale that I'm happy with. They sell all day for around 100, but sometimes if you want to be really patient, include the right cords and earbuds with them, you can get 150, but it takes a while. So I waited on this one and I'm happy with it. And the last item that sold was this um, plumbing HVAC kind of uh, thing that I purchased for dirt cheap. Sold it for $13.99. Some sort of contactor. Brand new but open box. 
And that is it for today's sales. So thank you guys for coming along for the ride. That's going to be it for today's video. I make these videos because a lot of people ask for, you know, do you actually sell stuff? And yes, I certainly do. I actually sell even more on Amazon, but it's a lot easier to show the eBay sales. And I hope you guys can learn. So some of the stuff you can see, oh, Chase sold that for 150 bucks, and I'm seeing it at this garage sale for 50 bucks. This is probably a good buy. You know, just so you guys can learn, um, soak up everything, and then go out there, hustle yourself, and get those deals. So thank you guys for watching today's video. It was fun to make, and we'll see you next time. Chase after the right, right.